Ah, it's Remembrance Sunday. I'm listening to Radioactivity, having just turned off out of reactivity um, the Remembrance Sunday service at the point where it said, Send the Queen Victorious. I'm looking for systemic win, so I'm reconnecting with my peacemaking techniques. The chairs exercise involves the two people, the owner of the triggering situation and the respondent. Well, if the owner isn't, if the situation isn't at hand, it can of course be represented by anything. I'm looking for raven claw. Oh well, I've got the claw, I haven't got the raven to hand. Maybe I'll put him in a Dalek, because we create enemy images out of people. Okay, so this is the claw, yeah, the claw's coming out of the Dalek. <sighs> This is our enemy image, who has said something that we find absolutely unbearable. Like I referred to someone as uh, giving me dogma and smokescreen. So that's going to be the trigger phrase. And if the person's not in the room, you imagine them saying, um, you gave me dogma and smokescreen. Right, in response to that, you're probably likely to say so you want to sit here, i.e. the place where you blame, blame the other. You say I gave you dogma and smokescreen? Well, you're just a fascist with your non-violent communication. You're stuck in your ways and you don't give me compassion. When someone's in pain, they need compassion. And you insist that, they, that you teach them non-violent communication your way. I'm not ready for that crap. You are a bad communicator. You are mad, you are sad, you are dangerous to know, and I want nothing to do with you. Okay? Right. So, sitting here might voice compassion with choices, the underlying needs, and values. I really want peace. I really need protection. I feel scared, and I need around this person and I want to reconnect with what I value Taoism and a different form of practice on the cushion so I know why I let all those judgment sayings out I was angry, upset uh, beyond my ability to control myself in saying things that you know I know were hurtful or I expect were hurtful. So, it's because I need protection, peace, respect for my practice, and the serenity to carry on with it. I'll sit here for a while and express self-blaming. Maybe I'll put these the other way around. Yeah, I know that I'm a stupid sod for uh, reacting how I did. I've been inconsistent in the things that I've in the things that I've said. First, I say to him, "Show me. Um, don't tell me about your nonviolent communication. Show me." And then, of course, I deny him any opportunity to show me. I try and block his communication because I'm further scared. So I'm a hypocrite and a confused, irresponsible, unreliable, angry attempt at a friend. Yeah, friendship really matters to me. And and I tried to get it in the way I tried to get it, and that was the best I could do at the time. I need that to land a little bit. Yeah, friendship really matters to me. And I'm sad that neither of us had the space to hear what was going on for the other at a time we were both triggered by something in our communication. We've done better before, and we can do better again. But I'm not going there yet. I'm not offering anything to him yet, that's for sure. Mm. Well, I can try and imagine what's going on for him. He too wants friendship. He too wants his practice respected. Unfortunately, though, he films everything, and I puts, that puts me... Oh, I've got to go back here. When he films things, I, oh, I've got to... Let's do this really systematically. I need to go back and find out what happens, what the trigger is. Here, I've got a trigger. 
Set here. Let's do it this way. So, I hear him saying that he's upset when I don't film him. No. <laughs> I'm here, I hear him expressing a wish to have all of his life filmed 24 hours a day. I feel, I was going to say undervalued, but that's not a feeling. I feel hurt because I want my need for privacy to be respected. And my request is, would you tell me what you heard? Because I'm not sure that you've heard how important privacy is to me. Now, when I've heard that you've heard, well... Sooner or later, I may be able to sit here and voice compassion with their choices and the underlying needs and values expressed. They're not really a Dalek with a claw coming out. They're just a flower that sometimes loses its stalk and wants to know how to reconnect. And I know them as someone who's practicing meditation. They even said they could become a meditation teacher. They were ready. So, pause, much pause for thought about how I take this communication forward with Paul Crossland, who for me is an enemy image at present. So you'll see I played the role of the other in this. It's very useful to play the role of the other rather than just talk from your own point of view. Otherwise you're going to get further stuck in your rut. So um, that's the best I can offer for now. May you be well, may you be happy, may you be free from suffering, um, may you borrow something from me like the Verve de Saint-Pierre, um, Om Yoga and Meditation, Planet Earth. Well, good luck with connecting with something that is renewing for you, and I'll try and do the same and get out on my bicycle today and be renewed. My practice is this. If someone wrongs me or insults me, may I accept defeat. The ego doesn't want to accept defeat. But thank you for sticking with this. That's much appreciated.